Hi, I want to go over the uh, three different types of modes in here. We have the implicit mode, the auto commit mode, and the explicit mode. Okay, the easier one to understand is the explicit mode. And let me just do that really quick here. So the syntax for that is basically you put a group of syntax uh, as SQL statements into one single transaction or one single unit of transactions. And by the end of that transaction, you either choose to commit the data or roll back, right? Commit means that uh, whatever occurs in here will take place and will um, be permanent. Okay, if you delete data, if you update data, or if you um, create something, then those will be permanent, assuming there are no errors, okay? And, uh, or you can choose to roll back, meaning that whatever you did here, it may look like it did something to the database or the tables, but then once you set a rollback command here, then everything gets, gets undo, um, roll back to the original state of that table or tables. Okay, so that's what those uh, these two mean. Um, if you don't issue either the commit or the rollback, then your commands here will hang and they will wait until you issue one. Okay, so just make sure you um, have a way out. That's the explicit mode. You explicitly put these keywords in here. Now, the other two, the implicit mode, this is a default mode. Um, up to this point, when you issue a command and you create tables, uh, select tables, uh, data from tables, when you update and all those stuff, we are actually were, um, using the, ex the um, not, um, not explicit, I'm sorry, the uh, auto commit mode. Okay? Um, this keyword I want to uh, mention here is this keyword unseen. Okay, so each statement's above, meaning these statements here. Okay, they create, insert, update, delete, uh, alter, and so on. All these statements here. When you run one of those one of those statements, each of those statements is bounded by an unseen begin transaction and unseen commit. Okay, so as you can see, there's no rollback. It's either um, it, it'll begin the transaction and it will commit the data. Either um, it's like all or none, right? It fails or it succeeds, okay? Um, and unseen means that you don't have to explicitly put the commands there. It just, they're, they're, they're just there, okay? That's what that means. So and that is why you can't issue the command uh, commit trend or the rollback trend explicitly in the statements. If you do that, it will cause an error because it's like you're adding additional statement to the um, to one of these, okay? So you can't do that. Uh, the on command, um, the on mode, or the ex implicit mode, you can set that on, is you only have a begin trend. I should say here, um, on scene. Okay. Uh, with, it, with an on scene begin trend. So I'm just commit that, like that. It will have the begin trends only. It does not have a commit or rollback. You have to issue one. If you don't issue one, it's going to wait until you issue one because it's still waiting to end that transaction. Okay? Uh, so that's what it means by the an implicit mode. And then it will wait until um, you issue one of these. It runs into one of these. It will stop. Okay? Otherwise, you just keep waiting. And then it will hang. So also kind of dangerous if you um, forgot to terminate that transaction. So that means that um, the uh, trend count is one. It just means because you don't close it, you always have a count of one. Okay. So let's go into the database and I'll show you what that means. So I have a test DB here, no tables, um, right? So just to make sure. Okay. So I have first query. This is one session. Just remember, this is a trans a, a session. So when I go back here. When I set the implicit mode to either be on or off, that means this only applies to a single session. This is one session. This is another session. Okay, so session one, session two. You have a session ID, and uh, so this is also called the uh, PID. Uh, no, SSID. Uh, what is that? I forgot the keyword, but it's one of those um, ID. It, it will it will give you that ID here. It's just a session ID. Okay, so let's go back to the first one here, 54. Um, so this one here, if it, if I don't issue anything here, is um, 
automatically set to the off mode. So let me just say this is off mode, which is the uh, auto commit. Okay. Um, so we have done before, right? You say, oh, I want to create a table um, called T1, and I issue an ID in the int. This is my this is my very simple table there, right? Well, um, I'm gonna sure I'm using the T test DB, so which I which I am. So the off mode it says the unseen begin trend and then unseen uh, commit. Okay, it, just assume that you have those two here in the explicit mode. I just have to turn those on. This is the explicit mode. Okay, when you run the, this in this way, it doesn't matter what the mode you set up there. You can set to off or on, doesn't matter. As you, as you put it here, visibly see it, then this will always be explicit mode. Okay, so with the off mode, it's just like this are there, except they're unseen. Okay, that's all. So you always commit. There's no rollback. Either this statements here or statements in here succeed or they fail. Okay, so if I run it now, you see that it successfully created that table and it should be visible in here as well which you can see here okay All right so i'm going to delete this table here let's press the delete key and now i want to show you that it says you cannot have a commit or a rollback trends uh, statement so that means i cannot go here and uh, put a commit here right and if you run this command, you see that it, it gives you an a, a error, error saying there's no corresponding begin trend. It forces it to become an explicit mode because you issued this command. Why? Well, because there's already one that looks like that. It's unseen. So if you think about it, it's, it's like this. So notice, I already have that group there, and I have another one down here, right? So if you run this, um, I have got the same error. Um, well, I, I, I think I probably did something in here. I'll delete this. Okay, so uh, let me run this again. Okay, so I get the same error, right? There's no corresponding transaction. My table is created. This part is successful. As, as I think so, you should see. As you can see, the table is created. But this line is like out there by itself. Okay? So that's why in the um, off mode auto commit, you cannot put any of this or even the rollback out here. Okay, there's no matching begin trend. That's all it's trying to tell you. So that's the off mode. Now, um, and so again, it doesn't matter what you have out here, either rollback or not. If you have the error, it doesn't matter. It was still going to create this table here. So as you can see, we have the error, but the table has been created. Okay, so um, that's just the off mode. Let me delete that again. Now let's go to the on mode. The on is by you have to set that manually for this session. Okay, so I'm going to say set implicit um, transaction to um, is it on or off? Right. I just say on or off. You you have two options. There's no there's no other. So on off. Default, it's off. So if I put it on, remember you have to execute that first, right? When you run it, you execute it's fine. But uh, once you execute that, then it will stay off until you turn it back on or on off or vice versa. Okay. So um, if I do this and let me just take everything back out here. So let's look at the rule again. It says implicit transactions do not require the unseen. Okay. They don't require uh, I mean, they do require, but you, you just don't see it there. Uh, I probably should take this out again. But anyways, it's just that you don't have to explicitly put that in there. It will begin with the uh, begin transaction execution. As you can see, there's no commit or no rollback. Okay, it has to, so you have to issue those, these, one of these manually, uh, explicitly. If you don't, it's going to hang. That's what it's saying, right? So, um, it's equivalent to the unseen begin transaction and then it stops there. So what that means is like this. Uh, if I put 
this is the uh, begin trend. Okay, it's like this, right? It's like I'm running these two statements here, and then it waits because there's no end, no um, command to stop this. Okay, uh, so if I turn this back off, you see that when it's, I'll set this to on to the implicit mode. It will create this table. It should create successfully. There's no error, and then it will wait. Okay, so I could also down here we select um, the. We'll do that afterwards. It's fine. I'm gonna go and run these statements here. So go ahead, run. So successfully created in my table. I see that uh, it should be there. Um, it's slowing down, and there's a reason why. Um, yeah, because it's, it's it's doing something, and then if I do the trend count, okay, if I print that. Let's see. So it tells me I have one transaction being run right now. And that's because of this trend here is unseen, but it's waiting for a commit or rollback, right? Because I didn't issue one. So really it's still waiting. That's why the count is still one. Okay? It's still waiting for that transaction. And if I say select uh, from the table T1, just that statement. Right, you see there's, there's an ID, it's created the table already. The ID is there, there's no data. I could insert data as well. I say insert into T1, um, just, you know, one, two, three, right? And then if I run the statements here, so, uh, oh no, I forgot the values. Okay, so if I run this statement, creates a single record. It should be in there. I see it, right? Now, if I go over to the other session too, and I try to select data from that table called T1, if I run this statement here, okay, so you can see it's spinning, it's just one single small record, it shouldn't take that long, right? And the reason why is because it's being locked right now, because I have a transaction of one still running, and I did not issue the end or um, the commit or the rollback. Okay, so you need to issue one of these explicitly to end that transaction. So if I go ahead and now say, um, if I put rollback, if I just issue this comment here, rollback, okay, successfully done. And if I select my records from the table, you see that there's no T1, no table. Go back here, it says there's no object T1. Why? Because what do I did here? I created a table, I insert some data. Because I said roll back, it, it undid everything. I assume there's nothing happened. That's why the table is not being created. Okay? If I, however, change it to commit, it will, before I do that, notice also when I print this trans count, it's now zero. So I have no more. Um, transaction. That's why I'm able to select the data from this um, session here, right? Otherwise, it was you saw the spinning uh, wheel down there. So if we go back here again, and uh, let's just say that I run these statements here. Well, let me turn that off again. I do it again one more time. The same thing, just to show you. There's no table, right? Nothing there. The trends is count is zero. I issue that again. Uh, no, wrong button. Okay, so I created a table. I print that count. It should be one. Okay, it says one row affected, and so here because I select that data, and then there's nothing there. I insert the data there again. If I show that again, I should have that one, two, three in there. And then now instead of row back. I'm going to commit it. Before I do that, though, I'm going to go back here and run this command again. It should still hang, right? It's waiting for that uh, lock to release. And so instead of roll back, I'm going to go and commit it. If I commit it, it's now permanent. And so therefore, you can see that it's now permanent, and the table is there, and the data is there. Okay? So that's why in the 
implicit mode, when I set this to on, I can use the rollback or commit commit command here. Whereas if it's off, I can't. Okay, so just just those uh, differences between the, the three, so you know uh, why you could or could not use the commit and the off mode and so on. So if I were to um, put that here like this, then now this is the explicit mode because I supplied both began trend and the commit.